friends, welcome to Rocky Railway VBS here at Community United Methodist Church. My name is Miss Christine and I'm our VBS director here at CUMC and I am so excited to be able to bring you our online VBS. First, I want to explain a few things before we chug along right into our VBS videos. First, you'll notice that our videos are split up into five sessions. This corresponds with our five days of VBS that we traditionally have. Now you can watch these videos five days in a row if you want to and you have that time. Or like many of us, I know families are busy. So feel free to watch them over five weeks or if you wanna do two one week and three another week, whatever works for you, where you and your family can sit down and experience our VBS and have some fun. Next, if you registered with us online, you received a lovely bag, something like this, that has lots of goodies in it. So we're gonna go over those really quick. First, you'll notice the funnest part, which is our gizmos. Now these are labeled for each session and they correspond with what's happening during our Imagination Station videos. You'll see from Miss Brenda, we'll show you how to have fun with these what, and how they correspond with our Bible point for the day. Next, to go along with those is this lovely sheet that has just some additional points and tips on how to have fun with our fun with our gizmos there at home. Also, they're stickers. Next, you'll see in there a great black bracelet that says watch for God. What we encourage you to do is to wear this anytime you're watching VBS and anytime you're not. It's a great reminder to be able to watch for God in our everyday lives and see where he is touching us. When you do see God, we encourage you to write on our God sightings poster that you'll get, what happens? Where did you see God today? This can be used during VBS, after it, for as long as you can fill up this page. We also encourage you that if you want to and are comfortable doing so, please post your God sightings on our church's Facebook page. We would love to be able to see how everyone, all of our friends are seeing God out there. Next, you'll see a stack of papers. These are our lovely newsletters. These correspond with each session of VBS. You'll recognize this if you've attended VBS before. We normally gave these out at the end of the night of each day. What you'll see on here is our Bible buddy for the day and our Bible point. Also, each section for our videos, kind of a summary of what's happened, what you covered for that day. So parents, if you have to step away, if you want a reminder down the road of what you all talked about, this is great for it. Also, there's a green box down here for our tweens. So for our older kids that are maybe in middle school, or even if you have high school kids that are participating with younger siblings, this has some great questions to be able to ask them and then they can get a little deeper meaning out of our VBS here. In the blue box at the bottom, you'll see lots of information about our church. It includes when our church services are, our Bible story time, Sunday school, all of that, whether it's in person and online right now. So if you or someone you know doesn't have a church home, we encourage you to share that information with us because we would welcome all into our church family here at CUMC. Finally, in that blue box, you'll also see our information about our mission. Now we do traditionally collect money for the food bank for VBS, and we would like to continue that tradition even though we're online this year. So there's information there on how to find, how to give on our website. There's also an app that our church has, or you can always just mail in a check, but please give as you are able to. Again, we are so happy that you're here. Feel free to share these videos with any of your friends that weren't able to register because you don't have to be registered to be able to watch these. We encourage everyone to be able to have fun with our online VBS. So without any further ado, all aboard for Rocky Railway VBS. Rocky Railway. My name is Kristen and I'm Lisa and we are so excited to be riding the rails with you this summer. We're going to start every session right here at Sing and Play Express. We're going to help you sing, have fun, and celebrate Jesus's power. We're going to start off with our theme song about Jesus's power pulling us through. We 
trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, beautiful Rocky Mountains. A long time ago, trains were the fastest way to travel when you had to go far or up a big hill. Not many people ride steam trains like this anymore. Steam trains got their power from the steam engine. A steam engine's a little bit like a tea kettle. When the water inside boils, it pushes steam through a hole and it whistles. That's pretty cool, huh? Inventors figured out a way to capture steam and turn it into power. Enough power for a train to pull thousands and thousands of pounds over tall, rocky mountains. Trains have the power to cross miles and miles of deserts, carrying things to people who need them. Maybe when you think of power, you think of superheroes who have superpowers. Or maybe the word power makes you think of someone with huge muscles. Strong muscles and superpowers are things we usually think about when we hear about power. But God has more power than either of those. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by speaking. God has the power to love and forgive and comfort and heal. God is even more powerful than death. Jesus is God's very own son, and he has all that power too. This session will be talking about how we can trust in Jesus's power to help us every single day. And later in the session, you'll hear about the life-saving power of Jesus's blood.
we'll learn a Bible point, an important truth from the Bible to remember. Today, we'll explore how Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. That's our Bible point. Today, whenever you hear someone say, Jesus' power helps us to do hard things, say, Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. As you say that, reach up and pull down like you're pulling on a train's whistle. We need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull us through when things get really tough. The Bible says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. He gives us the strength we need to power through sadness or confusion or mad feelings. Let's sing a song about Jesus' awesome power. around the rail yard about a rock slide last night. That could be really bad. Maybe we can find someone who can tell us what happened. Oh, maybe this guy can help. Hmm. Excuse me, do you work here? Do I work here? I've worked here all my life. I've worked all the way around this rail yard. I don't just work on the trains. I drive trains. The name's Cam Track, and I'm one I'm the engineer of the railroad here. Oh, hi, I'm Kristen. Wow, an engineer with a name like Cam Track. You must really love trains. Well, when you know these trains as well as I do, well, they just become a part of you. Hmm, that's pretty deep. But maybe you can help us. My friends and I heard something about a rock slide. You heard right. Some huge boulders roll down the mountain and are blocking the way for the train to go down the track. Wow, that could really cause some problems. It can. In fact, my crew and I are supposed to take our train and head down the mountain. But we got to take care of these rocks, so it's good that 
I'm here to help out. You really <laughs> think you're strong enough to move that massive uh, boulder? I don't think. I know. Okay. Why don't you warm up with that rock over there? Uh, I don't know about that. This is easy peasy. I can handle this. You might want to stand back, though, just in case something happens. Here we go. Let me try this other rock. Oh, it's useless. It's just too hard. What? I can't move them. It's funny you should mention that, Cam, because today's we're learning that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. We all have to do hard things. It might be taking a big test at school. Whoa! Whoa! It might be standing up ah, to a bully. What are you doing? It might be being there for a sick family ah. member. Ah. Or it might be saying goodbye no, no. No, no, no. to a friend that moves away. No, what are you doing? Oh, I, I'm not strong. I can't handle this. Well, oh. none of us are strong enough to handle all that tough stuff oh. on our own. But we have a friend who can, Jesus. Jesus is powerful in every way. He can handle anything. Things that are hard for us on the inside too. Even though life may still seem heavy, Jesus is always there to help share the load. You know, this Jesus guy sounds like a good person to be friends with. Well, I need to go figure out a way to move these rocks off the track. Maybe Jesus can give me the right ideas to know what to do. Tell you what. When I'm done here, I'll come help you if you can see if we can figure it out together. Sounds like a great idea. Bye, everyone! Bye! All week long, we'll get to know surprising Bible memory buddies who are going to help us to remember our Bible points. All of our buddies are animals that you could find somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hey there, friends. Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. 
That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Vacation Bible School. I'm so glad that you could join me for a totally amazing, totally true Bible story. Before we begin, I'd like to share with you that today's story is coming from the book of Acts in chapter 9. So if you're curious what happens next, feel free to pick this up and take a look-see. I'm so glad you were able to join me today. When I make new friends, I always like to get to know each other by talking about stuff that we enjoy. Like me, for instance, I really like to crochet. That's what I'm doing here. I like crocheting because it's pretty easy for me to do. I don't have to think too hard about it. I don't necessarily like to do hard things. That's not very comfortable or fun for me. But something that we need to remember, even when there are hard things in life that we need to do, is that we never are doing them alone. We can always count on someone to go through it with us. Jesus' power can help us do hard things. All we have to do is trust Jesus. Ananias, is that you? What are you doing? I'm hiding. Hiding? From who? From everyone. Well, I don't think that's going to work very well because everyone, this is Ananias. Ananias, I was just visiting with my friends. Hi, friends. My new friends in my friend's house that I don't know. Hi. Get over here and sit down. Tell me what you're doing. It's Saul. He's here from Damascus. But why this silly disguise? He's thrown lots of Jesus' friends into prisons, and he's here in Damascus. Well, I guess you haven't heard that. How, how Jesus appeared to Saul, and how a bright light shone, and, and Saul fell to the ground, and yeah. was blinded, and all of his buddies led him here to Damascus? Yeah. I have heard about that. Well, then what are you doing with this silly mustache? Ow, it's a disguise, and now it's ruined. Well, it wasn't working very well. Well, God came to me, and he told me I need to go to Straight Street, and look for a man from Tarsus named Saul. No. Yeah, and then I should place my hands on Saul and pray for him, and he'll get his sight back. So, well then what are you doing here? Why aren't you off doing what God asked you to do? Because, because when Saul sees me, yeah, he'll see that I'm a Christian. And with Christians, he doesn't like Christians. Saul throws rocks at Christians. He ties them up in chains and beats them. And this spoon, I don't know what he might do with that, but I sure don't want to find out. Oh my, well, you know, sometimes there are hard things that we are asked to do. But you know, Saul, you actually showed up at the perfect time. Pause. Sometimes, Ananias, there are hard things that we do have to do. But you actually showed up at the perfect time because my friends and I were just talking about when there are hard things you're asked to do in life, how you're not doing them alone. Jesus' power can help you do hard things. All you have to do is trust Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. But this is a really hard thing. Super duper hard and I'm not sure that I can do it. I don't know why God would put me in charge of such a hard task. Well, Ananias, I believe that God trusts you. And so you need to trust God. Hey, do you want to play a game with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to show you what it feels like to trust God. Stand up. Come here. All you have to do is stand in front of me. And what I want you to do is to fall backwards on purpose. I know, I know, it sounds scary and it sounds hard. Is that how you feel about going to see Saul? I understand. This is what it's going to be like. I want you to trust. Put your arms out and fall on purpose. 
Do you see? When you trust God, God is there to embrace you. That's good to know. Jesus' power can help you do hard things. You just have to trust, trust Jesus. Jesus. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Sometimes there are a lot of hard things we have to do. It's true. I know, for me, it's been really hard with this pandemic we're experiencing. And it means I can't go see my friends and my family. And I know some of my friends, well, they had to leave school before they could even say goodbye to their friends or say goodbye to their teachers that had made their year so special. Sometimes it's really hard being stuck at home too. We all have hard things we have to get through. If there's something hard that you're dealing with right now, maybe take a quick moment to pause right here and share something hard that you're experiencing with someone close to you that could listen and show you how much God helps and can care. Because when you trust God, Jesus' power really will help you do hard things. Ananias, I know you have something really hard you have to do. Would it help if I prayed for you? Mm -hmm. Would you like to pray with me? Mm -hmm. All right. Dear Lord, I know you trust Ananias to do this hard task, and that's why you've put him in charge of meeting with Saul and speaking with Saul. I trust you, God, to keep our friend Ananias safe and I trust you to keep all of my friends that are here joining me at VBS safe and help them with whatever hard things they may be experiencing and help them to know that they have people in their life that love them and care for them very deeply that are there to listen. We love you, God. Amen. Amen. Ananias, I wish you luck. And if you have time, I'd love to hear how it goes. Uh... I guess I can do this. Hey. I guess I don't need that. Because no more disguises. Because I'm here and I'm going to trust Jesus and I'm going to get through this hard thing. That's right. Because right. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. You've got to trust, trust Jesus. Jesus. Just trust Jesus. All right, friends. And come back for our next VBS story because I have more. I'm going to go see Saul. Wish me luck. Good luck, Ananias. You can do it. Hi everybody, it's Miss Sarah. I'm glad to see you all here today and I miss seeing your faces, but I'm glad to be talking with you and t learning more with you about God and how much he loves you. Today we're going to be talking about how God's power helps us do hard things. Our video today is about a kid named Dominic who's getting ready to do some karate and to try something new at karate. Do you guys know what karate is? I don't know. I have a helper who might be ready to tell me more about karate because I don't quite get it. Helper? Helper? Anybody? A helper to tell me more about karate? Oh, my helper's not here yet. I'll have to wait for him to come later. From what I understand about karate, karate is about doing special movements to focus your mind, but also help your body get stronger. And our friend Dominic that we're going to learn more about today is afraid, but he also trusts God to help him do hard things. I can't wait to watch our video and I'll be back when we're all done. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. 
Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm gonna break this board. It's an obstacle in my way and let me push through it and hi! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't going to pass, and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this, and I didn't. Failed, and I failed, and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow, and I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse 13, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. So, now that you've seen our video, I want to talk with you about a time that you tried to do something difficult. Um, and if there's a grown-up with you and you want to talk to your grown-up about a time that they did something difficult that was hard, but they trusted God, um, and it's still, and it worked out and they learned more about God and how much he loves them. Now was a great time to talk to your grown up. And also you can talk to your grown up about a time that you tried something hard. And if there's never been a time you can think of that you tried something hard and God showed you that he's with you all the time, then you can think about something in your life that's hard right now or something you're afraid of that you could trust God about. And you can talk with your grown up about different ways to trust God in that situation and the things that you're scared of. I know when I've been sometimes at my job and I have to talk to people and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna say, then it's hard and it's scary and I don't always know what I'm gonna do or how it's gonna work out. And a lot of times in those situations, I stop and I ask God to help me have the right words to say, um, to know what to do so that I can, um, can do the things that God wants me to do and um, be a good person and, and fight hard for the people in my life. Um, so now I'm still looking around for my helper to come tell me more about a time in their life that was scary and they trusted God or something that's going on now that's scary. Do I have a helper? I think maybe my helper is scared of coming and getting on camera. Helper, will you come talk to us about that? Come on, helper. You wanna come sit with me? So helper, will you look over there and tell our friends about something that's scary? Is it scary to be on camera? Kind of. Kind of. What helps you feel better and helps you be willing to come out here? Me? 
me. That's very special. I'm glad to be with you too. And I'm glad that I can be your grown up who helps you trust and know that God's with you all of the time, even when we have to do scary things. What do you think about our idea for today that God's with us all the time? I don't know. You don't know? Is that an, always an easy thing to believe? I don't know. Yeah. Like, I have sometimes have problems believing that, and I don't always, it's not always the first thought that I have when a hard time comes. But there's a part from the Bible that actually helps us remember that. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Can you tell our friends another word for Christ? Jesus. Jesus. So that's an, that verse is another way to let us know from the Bible that Jesus is always with us and he can help us do anything. Even things that seem super hard, we can look around for people in our life or prayers that can help us because God's always with us to help us do hard things. Yes, you want to tell everybody what you're scared of? What are you scared of? Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, because sometimes those people have their masks on and it's so scary, right? And there, it seems really, really scary. But then underneath, what is it every single time? A person. A person. It's just a person under there. So if we look a little deeper, we can see the truth, right? And the truth we're talking about today is that God is always with us, even underneath all the scary stuff, right? Is there anything else that you want to tell our friends? Okay, you want to wave bye-bye? Thanks for coming, guys. See you later. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Brenda. And, of course, you know, I'm Miss Nancy. Nancy. We are so glad to be with you today. This is session one of Imagination Station, and I hope you brought your imagination. Did you bring yours? Absolutely. I've oh, always yeah. got it right here. Yeah, got it here. Well, we'll be riding the Rocky Mountain Railway today. Woo! Oh, we! Hey, hey, yeah. Look, look, look. <gasps> Whoa! Rocky Mountain Railway. You know, I've ridden one of those before. Have you? Yes, I have. They're really fun. Sounds now, like a good trip. you know that each day we're going to have cool experiments that help us learn more about God's mighty power. Hmm. You know what our saying is today? What? Well, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Jesus. All right. Let's try that now with the boys and girls. Let's okay. do it one more time. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Help us out. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. All right. You know, I was talking to Ramsey. He's our big horn sheep over here. Hey, Ramsey. Hey, Ramsey. And in case you didn't know, Ramsey told me that he loves living in the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't? Oh, I love the mountains. But it's kind of hard to live there, especially when it snows. Oh. Yeah, you know, staying on the sides of that mountain with the slippery snow and ice, it's kind of hard to do. But, you know what? He is made in a special way. He's very sure-footed. means his feet can really hmm. uh, come in handy. And Ramsey's feet help him to do hard things, like walk on slippery slopes. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's amazing, yeah. All right, now then. You know what it's time for? What's it time for? It's time for the daily question. Oh. Okay. Now, this has to do with our friend, a Ramsey. Okay. Okay. Now, here's my question. How long does it take a baby bighorn sheep mm -hmm. to be able to walk and climb as well as his mother? Does it take mm. six weeks or one day. How long does it take Ramsey as a baby to walk as sure-footed as his mother? Six weeks, one day. Hmm. I'm gonna guess 
One day. You think one day? I think one day. Okay. What do you guys think out there? Six weeks, one day. Well, we want to hear you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, one day, you're right. Ah. You're right. One day, they're born knowing how to be as sure-footed as their parents are. That's amazing. That's amazing. That is amazing. Well, today, we again, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, okay. You know, sometimes we have to do hard things. You know, things maybe we don't want to do, but we have to do. And we all have those kinds of things. You probably think things, I know I, I'm thinking of some things. And we may not be able to control what's happening. And our lives seem to be going in all directions. Hmm. Well, our gizmo today is kind of like that. Oh, let's find out. We'll be using our off-rail roller. Session one. Session one. I'm going to demonstrate it first, so just watch first. Then I'm going to show you how to put it together, okay? So mine's already put together. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take the larger straw and I'm going to twist it. Wind it up. Wind it up. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll want to do this on a flat surface, meaning like a hardwood floor. Uh, I don't think carpet will work very well. So try to find a place in just a little bit where you can have a like a hard surface. Like I've got a small surface, but we're going to make it work. So let's see. Does it go everywhere? Like sometimes we feel like we are. You know, let's find it. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. It went right off oh the road. Oh my goodness. It's going way over there. It did work on okay, carpet. Okay, it will work on carpet. <laughs> And it's still going a little bit. And it's kind of going everywhere. I know at home when I was trying this, it was just going crazy. So, yeah, just like our lives. It can go everywhere. Well, so can this. So what I want to do is to show you that no matter what happens, Jesus loves us and has good plans for all of our lives. Jesus' power will help us do hard things no matter in which direction that we're going. Like off the rail roller here. <laughs> <laughs> now let me show you how to put it together. Okay. So Miss Nancy, if you would get out your pieces, you have a tall st or a long, long straw. straw mm -hmm. And a short straw. Mm -hmm. A rubber band. And I think there may be, were there, were there two in there? And a spool. And I'm going to take mine apart. And a paper clip. You'll have to unfold it. Yes. Okay, you guys see how that is? Like that? I left the hook there so we could hook the rubber band. Okay, now, you have two parts of this little spool oh. that come the spool, okay? One part has a part that kind of sticks up, and bump. one part is very flat, okay? So I'm gonna take the part that sticks up first, and I'm going to take my rubber band and kind of pinch the end together and put it through that hole. And if you need help, just ask a parent. Okay, then you're going to take your tall, your long straw and go ahead and feed it through that loop right there. Okay. And that will keep the straw from, <laughs> whoops, going on through. <laughs> okay, then this piece right here is where I need, you, you might need it help oh. to have two hands a little bit. I'm going to take the little paper clip and I'm going to put it through that hole so it comes up like that because I want to thread it through the hole. And so I'll push that up and then like how, that. Okay. And grab your rubber band. Okay, got it. Okay, I've got, I got it. Okay, then got it. I'm going to put the small, uh, the small straw through this part of it and then it will hold itself so that it stays the way we want it to. Okay. If you don't have an extra hand, I guess yeah. you could turn it upside down like this and probably get it together that way. Yeah. But the paper clip works perfect to thread that through. All right. I don't know how you do it without the paper no, clip. No, I know. <laughs> then, of course, you can just take this and you can just wind the large one, the tall, or the longer one. What if we moved our cart out of the way and did them on the floor? Oh, well, let's try that. Let's see if it can yeah. go as far let's, as this railroad. Let's try that. Okay. okay, here goes our cart. All right. I'm going to step right back here. Are you ready? All right. 
Here we go. One, two, three, go! Whoa! Oh my goodness, yours is crazy. Mine's spinning in circles and yours is Mine's... chasing me. <laughs> wow, boys and girls, how fun was that? I know that you're going to have fun with it. So, what you're going to do now is you can get out your session one uh, rail roller and have some fun with it. Then uh, go ahead and stop your video because you'll come, be coming back to us uh, in just a few minutes for our closing. So remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus! Jesus. tremendous trip on the tracks with songs, smiles, and surprises. Bighorn sheep like Ramsey are custom made to travel up steep mountains. When you see Ramsey, you can remember that Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. When we're friends with Jesus, he takes us to incredible places and he shows us unbelievable things. God is right here with us always. Today, you received a special gift to help you remember to look for evidence of God all around you. God sightings help us watch for Jesus' awesome power in everyday life. A God sighting could be a prayer, it could be a hug from a parent, the sunshine, or a kind word from a friend. We have had a great first day at Rocky Railway. Thanks for celebrating Jesus' power with us. 
I can't wait for another day of adventure, discovery, and excitement with all of you. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. What are you doing here? I just went and saw Saul. No way. How did it go? Tell me more. Well, I found the house. And I went in, and there was Saul. Yeah, then he what? He hadn't eaten for three whole days. Ooh. But he was still super scary. Then wh what did you do? How did it go? I said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you, came to me and told me that you were going to get your sight back. I put my hand on his shoulder, and he was filled with the Holy Spirit, and these scaly things fell off his eyes, and he could see again. That's amazing! I know! And then he was baptized, and he had something to eat, and I came here to let you know that God has some big plans for Saul! I can't wait to hear more! Oh, I know! I'm so glad you were okay! I know, and just like he has big plans for each and every one of you. Even though it's hard sometimes, we can do it. Jesus' power Helps us, us do, do hard, hard things. things. All you gotta do. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Oh man, I still gotta do this work. I can't believe it. The rocks are still here. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. I'll see what I can. They're too heavy. Well, hello, sir. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Are you lost? Oh, uh, no, I'm not lost. Oh, okay. Well, could you help me right now? Yeah, what do you need help with? These rocks are not allowing the train to get down the road. Can you help me? Yeah, Jesus' power helps you do hard things. Really? Sure does. What? Oh, my goodness.